with both 11 and 13 inch versions available for the iPad Air and iPad Pro, which one should you buy? Let's take a close look at both of Apple's 2024 tablet and see which is the better bargain and here's the biggest differentiating features. I've got both the 2024 13-inch iPad Air and the 2024 13-inch iPad Pro here in the studio and I've spent weeks or so testing them out at full MSRP. The iPad Air will run you $799 while the iPad Pro jumps to $1299. Dollars seems they're roughly the same. Let's start by talking about the displays they advertised as 13-inch but the resolution differs slightly. The iPad Pro is 2752 by 2064 while the iPad Air is 2732 by 2048 despite this the pixel density remains the same at 264 ppi Apple calls them both retina displays so you're not going to notice any difference there where the iPad Pro starts to separate itself is, is ease of promotion and OLED. Technology iPad Pro has SDR brightness of up to 1000 nits across the full display versus only 600 on the air. When using them outside I could tell the difference quite a bit in bright light. If you use the 2022 iPad Pro the air is the same as we saw there. OLED also boasts a much higher contrast ratio with blacks very deep and colors popping even more of course both look great. But it's hard to beat the OLED display promotion is one of those features people feel very strongly about. That's the variable refresh rate that allows the iPad Pro to adjust. From 10 Hz all the way up to 120 based on what you're doing versus the fixed 60 Hz refresh rate on the iPad Air. iPad Pro will have a low refresh rate while you're just staring at your home screen but can jump up to 120 Hz while playing a game or scrolling in Safari. Both tablets support the new Apple Pencil Pro or the Apple Pencil USB-C. If you want to know more about the new Apple Pencil Pro, let me know in the comment section. One will bring a dedicated video featuring Apple Pencil Pro. Moving on to the internals, there's much to discuss when comparing the M2 to the M4. The iPad Air graded to the M2 in this new generation a fairly known quantity as it was the chip that the iPad Pro used to have it uses. 8 CPU cores mixing 4 performance cores with 4 efficiency cores with a 10 core GPU also has a 16 core neural engine as well as the media engine. For hardware accelerated video encoding and decoding, memory wise it has 8 gigs with 100 GB per second of memory bandwidth. The iPad Pod meanwhile has skipped a generation and moved on to the M4 of which Apple has two variants it offers in the iPad Pro. The first version has a 9 core CPU with 3 performance cores and 6 efficiency cores which is sold with 256 or 512 GB capacities. The 1 TB and 2 TB models get a 10 core CPU CPU with 4 performance and 6 efficiency cores. I am testing the latter of the two here both M4 chip variants have a 10 core GPU complete with hardware accelerated ray tracing. iPad Air uses Touch ID for authentication compared to Face ID on the Pro. I much prefer Face ID though I do keep putting the camera on the wrong side. Now other changes here to mention there are nearly identical rear facing cameras though iPad Pro also has LiDAR and the new improved flash which is great for document scanning as well as photos. Finally there are 4 speakers in the Pro tablet while they are only stereo speakers for the Air similarly with my split 2 and 4 for the non Pro and Pro versions. Ultimately these are both great tablets but the Pro has a lot of what I'd consider nice to have features. I wouldn't consider OLED later faster data transfers as critical but are for sure nicer if you have the choice between the two. No one is arguing that the iPad Pro isn't the better tablet just. How much of those features are necessary almost everyone is going to be better off with the iPad Air or even a last generation iPad Pro. If you can still find them but let me know your thoughts which one will you buy let me know in the comments. Be sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with those notifications turned on so you don't miss my latest video. We'll see you next time.